Hey, Brass Facts here. Today is sort of addendum video. We've been talking at great lengths about PDWs and why they're useful for certain niche scenarios. I've talked about the weapon itself at nauseating length. You either buy into it, you don't. You can go watch the video if you want and then yell at me in the comments. Perfect way to spend your afternoon. But myself and my vat grown cameraman, this is the 61st clone, are going to do a fair bit of traveling this year. And I wanted to show you our different setups and it sort of rounds out the premise that I've been discussing thus far with PDWs because PDWs are very much a system-based thing. It's hard to view them in isolation. When I travel, it's almost always over 24 hours in duration. So my setup is a bit larger and his is much more lean, day-oriented as he works a real job unlike me. So those trips are much more local in nature. Premise remains the same, however. When you travel, you generally can't really subsist off of pocket lint. So you're gonna bring a bag with your amenities, laptop, extra food, water, whatever, but very often there's just that little bit more space. So as a prepared citizen, you may want to utilize this extra space. Most of the time, bring extra pistol mags, snacks, and maybe extra first aid. But if you're going a bit further, you can appeal to your little neurotic brain that thinks, what if the big igloo kicks off while I'm 300 miles away from my cozy home, and you want a primary weapon? This video shows a way to skin that cat with simple systems that give you more capability, but don't meaningfully impact your bag size routine and planning. That's our, our sink and doodle noise. This is the most ghetto ass shit. Like, it's literally a mic in the cup because I lost the stand that doesn't make it go on the horizontal <laughs> level. The original plan tonight was actually to do this episode here. The secret sauce is this guy actually hasn't seen Banner Brothers, so I, I lured him with the, the guise of getting him on the YouTube channel, but in fact, we ended up watching two episodes of Banner Brothers. <laughs> tricked him. So we're here in the most ghetto ass setup known to mankind. We don't have any liquor and we have a microphone shoved into a glass can. Hi, Brass Facts here. The production volume value keeps going up. Uh, but anyway, so in a lot of videos, we rev Nova, Down. that's enough. Down. 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 Since you schlopped your flex raider out on the table, uh, you want to tell me about your, your bag and how you kind of yeah, yeah. use this thing? You bring this thing Quite a, quite a bunch of places to you. I see in your car a lot. Um, yeah, this pretty much just goes with me wherever I go. Um, and it's kind of a source of like, you know, secondary medical stuff. My, I can put my laptop in here, I have notebook, paper, pen, essential stuff like that. Uh, as well as uh, the Flux Raider. Um, so if you're not familiar with the Vertex commuter bag, it has a little pouch in the back here. What they normally advertise is holding a pistol with the Velcro in the back but it conveniently fits a flux raider upside down. You can zip it up. You got a really big pulley boy here. Yeah, so the, the whole party trick is that pull tab there. So when it's pulled forward with this tab, you just rip it back this way, and you can reach in and grab your PDW. And your deployment time was actually pretty impressive if I remember right. Like. Not as fast as like a, a 1.5, 1.3, almost one second, like really experienced pistol draw from appendix or whatever. And not nearly as versatile, but compared to, if you have even a millisecond of time, or a millisecond, even if you have a couple seconds of time, you were pulling mm -hmm. out probably, I think it was like two, two fours, two sevens. Yeah, yeah, I'd have to look at the footage again, but yeah. it's respectable for what it is so yeah it's by no means meant to replace a handgun and that's people get that wrong all the time it's not meant to replace a handgun it's meant to offer more firepower not necessarily firepower in the sense of rounds um like the round specifically but it's meant to offer more firepower and how much you can bring mm -hmm. and how consistent you are with bringing that to the table your ability to be consistent under stress even the best people really struggle to be consistent every 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 time i go to have a range with anyone of every a lot of skill levels they struggle to be consistent with pistols and this just offers something a little bit more because the whole point of um stuff like this is to fit in a bag that is also useful as a bag and like you, yeah you got like the basic so bitch like stuff. basic notebook for just note taking or work related stuff um right now i have like my pocket dump in here you know for my edc stuff but i got you know 
phone, laptop, charger. You got you some know, snacks in there. Nice cleaner. I travel with this bag, so I keep a passport in here all the time. Yeah, try going to an airport with this setup. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it changes slightly when I go on an airplane. Yeah, yeah. Um, I uh, noticed the TQ uh, over here as well. Yeah, so I have two TQs in here. We kind of Velcro to the side here, so this one actually kind of got messed up a little bit. Um, but one's there, and then there's a front pouch here that also holds another TQ. Um, and then there's like a hidden pouch in here. Oh, too. it just keeps going. Like you got plenty of room left in this. Yeah, thing. so I'll normally shove like extra stuff in there. I think I got a koozie and some a poncho and like some extra medical stuff, some little boo boo kits back there because that's doesn't need to be accessed in emergency type of stuff. So that can be kind of out of the way, out of sight. Um, yeah, you got plenty of expanding in there. Like if you wanted to bring yeah. a water bottle, so like a full blown lunch. Yeah, uh, and what's what I use actually a lot is this whole part here has these G hooks, and you can actually expand this bag out to hold like a, a poncho. Oh fuck yeah! And I've okay. even actually traveled with this, because um, it has Molly here. Oh, there goes the tourniquet. Eat it, dog. Um, and I've attached this night vision thing here, just like that. And now I have night vision on my carry on bag. Um, I'd like to keep this expensive item with me yeah, yeah, yeah. at all times. So I'll, I'll actually attach this here, and this can kind of fold up onto it so it's not as, you know, it's because it's still a little bulky, but it still fits on a carry-on luggage slot, or as a personal item is usually what I have this as. So, um, so if I'm ever traveling with night vision, that's usually how I'll do it. Um, so it is expandable, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it's, I've had this bag for maybe like three years now and it's held up just fine. I think they have a Gen 2 for this bag now. Um, and they deleted this, this little, uh, whatever you call this, rotating clip. Because my biggest gripe is this. Oh, that's obnoxious. So they deleted this and it's just one solid piece now, good, better. which is great. Because this right here is actually a snag point, so if you wear a jacket with a hood or something, oh, get stuck in and you you try and pull the bag around, it this always catches, and you just gotta like power through it. Um, and sometimes yeah. your hood just ends up suffocating you. Yeah. Um, the bit my biggest gripe with this thing is that um they don't make ones for lefties. Like I know. Yeah. I know. I know. People are are saying lefties bring back. Uh, Bring back eugenics, get rid of the lefties, <laughs> don't make a bag for them. But, you know, us lefties want a bag too. So, yeah, I mean, it really, to me, it fits much more into a realistic bag that you would that you would bring with you. Because not only is it small, lightweight and such, but it actually has stuff in there that you, you, you actually need in real day-to-day -day life. Because generally speaking... Um, the gun doesn't come out. It's the pencil, the water, the food, the snacks, the, the notebook. Right. Or even the TQ, the expanded first aid that comes out, not the gun. The gun, mm -hmm. the gun is an afterthought almost, right? I, I feel like if, if the gun becomes the primary purpose of the yeah. bag, you're not going to bring it because it's a pain in the ass. Oh yeah. I forgot to mention too that... Oh, you got a laptop spot, man. Um, this, um, back panel here, you can put a 3A panel in here as That's well. Basic, yeah. So... If you're if you're into that or oh god that whatnot. squeak was so loud yeah that's the most annoying thing is this squeaky buckle um, but I don't think they make this version anymore so if you were to buy one today I would not have that yeah what's the game uh, my, mine's a little like a heavier variant right so mine is less for guys was a large fella I mean it's not that large right it, it's it's like a small torso. Uh, side by side. Hold up, hold up yeah, yeah. I mean, his is really small. His is more of like a day-to-day -day, like bag, um, but I own a car, so it just goes in the car. And for me, this is more—I wouldn't call it like a full-blown travel bag, right? Like, uh, it doesn't really work in that context. But more of a—I'm going to a friend's house to hang out. You know, I'm like, hey, let's go over to his house. Um, we might be drinking, and then we might get really carried away, and I want to stay at his house. This has got toiletries in it. I'm going to my parents' house uh, like an hour and a half away. This uh, brings everything I need, uh, plus some stuff. Uh, you know, maybe I'm going up north to hang out with some buddies. Good chance I won't be back for the night. This has got stuff. So I'm already bringing a bag because I need certain things when you go away from home, right? Uh, so, we need, so it's kind of configured like that. And because it's set up in this way, it's also, 
which is the whole point of this video, kind of a uh, get home bag slash travel emergency bag, right? But it, it does double duty. And I think that's a critical component because when you think about it, if I configured this thing like loaded to bear for capability and weapons, I would have to bring two bags. And I don't want to bring two bags because that's unrealistic. So if you want to see how this bag is configured, I already have a video on that. I just want to talk a little bit about how the deployment and, and such is. So, I mean, like you see, I got uh, extra gloves in here, a hat in here, toiletries, extra batteries for the phones up here, food and such in here. I have my, I have it a little overstuffed because I didn't prepare for this video properly. But uh, essentially, okay, so the main, the, yeah, the main, the main, uh, the main course, so to speak, is the TP9. I, I waffle between running the TP9 and the Flux Raider because the this TP9 as configured, in theory, yeah, it, it's roughly the same, same size as the Flux Raider, but then I go ahead and ruined it and put a, a laser aiming module and an EOTech on it. And, uh, and then I can make it even worse by putting this on it if I want. The thing is the size of the Flux. The size, the size of the Flux. But that more leans into the philosophy of, hey, I'm going to be going traveling today, right? Or not today, in the future. And I want a little bit more, right? Because I'm, I'm going away from home uh, and I want that ever extra little peace of mind for civil unrest, for spicy scenarios, active shooters, who, who the fuck cares, you know, so I can sleep good at night, a bedside gun, you name it. So I want just a little bit more capability when I'm traveling away from home, but my alarm bells, my DEF CON sensors haven't quite ticked over to DEF CON 2 or 1 or whatever, so I still want to keep it fairly small. I've said that several times. So as I got configured, we got the, the short boy mag in here, this conceals under the shoulder if I want. But because I'm not running the flux, I have a little more versatility. I have a full Picatinny rail. I can run a night vision capable optic. I can run a rifle style light instead of a pistol style light. And I can run a full blown laser aiming module. Realistically, I would actually probably put an LE uh, 321 in here. The one with the flashlight That's and laser attack, but is what it is. Uh, if I'd like, I can bring the suppressor. And I've talked about this in the past, but I really like the ability to use the suppressor um, as these, as American citizens get more experience with the uh, civil unrest scenarios. A trend we've noticed time and time again is that suppression may, in theory, actually matter a fair bit in these scenarios. Because these, these civil unrest scenarios, there's a lot of circumstances where it feels like shots go out, and it doesn't matter what, why the shots go out, you are assumed to be the, 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 the perpetrator. And people converge on your position and be like, hey, I want to fuck up your day. So I, I think the idea of a suppressional in scenarios like that is, is actually low-key underrated um, because you can, you know, if you have to use your weapon, right, you know, obviously you're going you're gonna to lean towards your handgun for time-sensitive stuff, but if you had time to, you know, pull this out of concealment, whatever, you name it, or maybe you're just, you know, shooting at home or something, or not at home, maybe you're shooting at uh, your hotel or whatever, right? It doesn't matter where. Use your imagination. The ability not to let everyone know you did a thing is useful and then you can, you know, deal with the problem as need. So I like the idea of a can. Do I think the TP9 can is the one to do it? No. So it, it is what I have, right? So this is the, the setup. The the add-on that I have to this, this is... The add-on I've added to this is this setup right here. I kind of got tired of shoving shit into my... What is it? Snazzy. It's the snazzy... No, no, it, it's... it's uh, it's uh, sp Spirit Tussie, so they have a weird name for it. I think it's called the, uh, Just the Pouch. It's Just the Pouch. That's what it's called. No, the, J the JSTA. Yeah, JSTA. Yeah. It's Just the Pouch. So it's kind of neat. Do I need 80 rounds of ammunition? Yes. No. Yeah, Same. sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, in a, in a, in a scenario where, where you're running one of these, yeah, maybe. So in like a, like a, 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 a baby boog, the start of the boog, mini boog, zombie apocalypse. No, zombie apocalypses aren't cool anymore. In a, you know, in a scenario, if I go through for the first 10 rounds, realistically, I'm probably going to want these. If I don't go through the first 10 rounds, I probably didn't need it to begin with. So, I mean, who knows? It, it's good to have flexibility. It doesn't take up space. And I can always pull these out and just reduce the size of this thing. This clips onto a belt and this entire thing is just first aid. Right, so it's it's a like a single thing that sits in here. It's the first aid. I'm gonna RTI clip this to here, but I bought the wrong RTI thing, so it, it doesn't clip on just yet. Uh, and I've been too lazy to go order it again for reasons. 
So yeah, it clips on here, it stays concealed, and now I have quick access to first aid. Realistically, most of the time, I'll probably take the mags out, put it in the bag, leave the gun in the bag, and just have first aid on me direct and use the handgun. But I have that versatility where I can run it with or without the mags and the size can change pretty drastically. So I think it's a pretty cool set, pretty neat. And then the final piece of the pie, this almost never comes with it, but that's the point of running the TP9 over say the Flux Raider, is that the TP9 is optimized, or I have mine optimized around night vision usage, and I have the, the TNVC box of nylon that costs $80, and in it I have duels and a cry shower cap, night cap, night cap, cry? Cry. Cry. So on the top here, I have a cry nightcap, and in the bottom here, I have duels. Generally, if I'm traveling, I'm just gonna bring a mono, because uh, I don't really want to bring that much shit at risk of being stolen. You can see, when you put the mono in it, it gets significantly smaller. The duels really poof it out. Uh, so I'd probably just run a mono. That's all I really need. You can shower in your cry. Yeah, you can shower in your cry Three shower cap. Uh, I mean, this was a little bit all over the place. I didn't really feel like this warranted a scripted video, but I think it's a really good sh way to show how small, I mean, you saw how his small his setup was, how small it can be to have a setup that is basically a stocked or braced weapon, have night vision and night vision performance beyond just passive aiming, right? Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but his Flux Razor, Razor actually has an IR illuminator and laser built into it. Is it a piece of shit? Yeah, but it, he still... <laughs> Thanks, Surefire. Thanks, Surefire. It, it, we, we've not had good luck with this thing. But yeah, he's got laser, IR illuminator, something that's capable of passive aiming, kind of, but we're in a city, so it's, passive aiming performance is a lot less required. You can get away with passive aiming, even with something like this Holosun. And the newer ones actually have been quite good at passive aiming. Yeah, that's that's an old, this is an older one, yeah. so it's not... Yeah, it's kind of to show off a kit, is this the smartest way to do it? No, but it is a way, it is a way to do it. And in a singular backpack, I have all my amenities, extra clothes, I have backup food, I have water filtration, I have, you know, actually a radio in here. I actually have extra pistol mags in here. Um, but it's not so overboard that it's not a usable bag anymore. Um, and it, it still offers a shitload of capability when, when, uh, when traveling. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Nova, any last words? Any Come here. No, what the fuck? Okay, so here's your dog footage. I, there you go. Can you say that into the mic, Nova? Let's say that for the fans. Hi. Delicious. Okay. Fuck, this video's gone. <laughs>